As you settle into this class, take a moment to close your eyes, sitting upright with your hands resting on your knees. Take a big inhale through your nose as you expand your belly and exhale to soften. Open your eyes and reach your arms overhead as you take a big inhale and another big exhale as you draw your hands down to heart center. We'll be moving through a few yin poses. As we begin, we'll start with pigeon. Bring the right knee forward between your hands, looking over your right shoulder to make sure the back foot is nice and straight. Reaching through your back toes as you begin to fold and draw the left hip toward the mat to deepen the stretch. We'll be here for about a minute. Breathe through any tension that you feel and notice any thoughts or sensations that show up. Just a few more breaths here. On your next inhale, gently begin to press up. And send the right leg back as you draw the left knee forward. Same thing on the left side. Look over the left shoulder and make sure those toes are pointed straight back. And when you're ready, begin to fold forward. This time drawing the right hip bone toward the mat. And again, allow yourself to breathe deeply through any tension you feel in the body. Remember throughout this class, never push yourself past pain. So if you feel any sharp or uncomfortable pains, back off and just Go a little bit less deep into the pose. Stay with your breath here. Take one more deep breath. And on your next inhale, begin to gently press back up. We'll transition to our fire log pose, which is perfectly named for this class. And what we're gonna do is bend the left knee and place it on the bottom. And then as you stack your right knee over top, see if you can place the foot directly over the bottom knee and your top knee directly over the bottom foot. So just like you're stacking two fire logs right on top of each other. Now you'll notice I begin with a little bit of space between my knee and my foot. As you breathe through this yin pose, you may find that you can start 
to breathe and lower the knee down even more. And then as you can see, I feel like some space has opened up, so I'm gonna to begin to fold forward. So you can take this however you need to today, moving as deep as you want or sitting upright and just working on getting your knee closer to your foot. Wherever you're at today, just breathe. Gently begin to inhale and press yourself back up. We're just gonna switch to the other side. So the right knee goes on the bottom, the left foot stacks on top of the right knee, and you've got your top knee directly over the bottom foot. So again, just breathing deeply, trying to create space for you to lower the knee down so it's stacked right over your foot. And then if it's accessible, you can begin to fold forward, only taking this as deep as you need to today. Stay with your breath. Gently begin to press up as you inhale. And exhale. We're going to release into our next yin pose, which is our frog pose. We're going to bring the knees out wide. So just bringing those knees out as far as you can with both feet flexed. And you want the legs at right angles. And then come down onto your forearms you can breathe here again listening to your body if this feels uncomfortable you can always press back up or lessen the split in your legs if you need to today you can also place a blanket down for your knees to rest on continue to stay with your breath breathing through any tension that you may feel Gently begin to lift. Good job, you guys. I know these yin poses can be challenging. We're moving into our final posture. We're gonna stack the hips over the knees. This is our puppy pose. So go ahead and stretch the hands all the way out and lower the chest to the ground. You can bring your forehead down. I'm gonna keep my gaze forward with my chin resting on the mat. This is a way to take it just a little bit deeper. 
here for about a minute. So just continue to breathe. If you need to back off at all, you can totally do so. Get ready to release this pose as you slowly start to walk the hands back. Let's shift right into our child's pose. Taking a moment here to be grateful for your body, its ability to release tension. Slowly shift forward. We're gonna roll all the way onto our backs as we get ready for Shavasana. Hug the knees into your chest and release the legs all the way out, letting your arms rest beside your body. Soften the shoulders down and close your eyes. Taking a moment to notice how your practice feels in your body today. being grateful for showing up to your mat today to do something good for your mind and your body and your soul. Now, just simply surrender, no longer controlling anything. Gently begin to deepen your breath as you allow the breath to bring some life and energy back into your body. When you're ready, you can draw the knees into your chest and make your way up to a comfortable seat on your mat. Placing the hands together in heart center. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you next time.